Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and welcome to my channel. I make time-lapse videos of how I did my paintings. For this video, I am doing a seascape painting on an A5 size wood panel. The panel was primed with gesso mixed with acrylic color. Then I do the sketching with burnt umber. For the first layer of color, I mix the color directly with my paintbrush, but I do find that doing it this way uses up a lot of paint unnecessarily. Most of the paint would be stuck deep in the brush itself. So you'll see that for the second layer, I would pre-mix the color with a palette knife. The sky would be darkest on top and gradually lightens up as it goes down near the horizon. But the area right above the horizon is actually slightly darker rather than lightens all the way up to the horizon. This is probably because it's furthest from view and there are maybe greyish or bluish clouds far over the other side. I mainly use Winsor Newton's Winton Oil Color, but here for the shallower ocean, I am adding Dela Rowney's Emerald Green Hue. Here adding some shadow to the bottom of the biggest cloud there. For the ship, as this is the first layer, I only put in blocks of color. I'll add the details in the second layer. So the first layer is always big blocks of color. Before I started painting a lot, I wasn't sure I am able to paint this way that the first layer is just mainly blocks of color and details would come in later. Now after practicing a lot, I find this method really effective and makes painting much easier. So here the next day, I'm changing the tone of the sky and make it darker. I find that it should be much bluer than what I did on the first layer. So again the color goes lighter as it goes down towards the horizon until the part right above the horizon I make it slightly darker. The shadow of the cloud is very similar to the blue of the sky there. It's almost like transitioning into each other.
the waves hitting the beach, there should be some indication of shadows and some dark area because of the wet sand. Here comes the fun part, the tiny details on the ship. I use the smallest round brush I have and I go very slow to add the details. It's very subtle, the bottom left of the ship has a lighter tone than its right side because of the light bouncing off the ocean onto it. Also the top part of the ship, the co white color area, albeit an extremely tiny area, I have painted it also. A subtle more bluish grey tone on its right side to indicate the shadow. The coconut tree trunk seems a bit complicated for me to paint from the reference photo, but it turns out not as difficult as I thought it to be. So I just put in the colour for the shadow and dark area, then a bit of mid-tone at the edge as there is a big difference between the brightest and darkest area, putting a mid-tone would tone down the harshness of the transition into the brightest part. After putting in the lightest tone, then gently blend the colors, and add in more dark color as necessary. So here the shadow for the coconut tree, I think the most important thing is not to paint the shadow of the tree trunk too straight because the sand is not a flat floor, the shadow would follow as the height of the sand changes. And the shadow falls on the boardwalk, the sides of the boardwalk are raised, the shadow cannot be a smooth line either, it should follow the shape of the wood. I find the color of the shadow too dark to look realistic, so I tone it down a little with the sand color. And 
here is the finished seascape painting. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.